What's up guys, Reverend Saint here and I have some Gears of War Judgment gameplay for you guys. I gotta say guys, I love this game, I really do. In fact, I kind of think I like the mechanics for multiplayer more than Gears 3. And I'm a huge Gears fan, a lot of you guys know that. Actually, most all of you should know that by now. <laughs> I'm a huge Gears fan, I thought Gears 3 was absolutely freaking great. Played a ton of it, I wish I could have played more, but other stuff came out and had to play that and stuff, and blah 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 blah, I got busy. but. I love the mechanics in this game. They slowed down the speed of the of walking and stuff like that and, and just changed almost completely the actual mechanics and like how the game works. Like obviously it's still cover based and still pretty fast and slow at the same time, but they tweaked it a bit. Just it's almost perfection. It really is to, in my opinion. Almost perfection. Uh, but basically I just kinda decided to re-record this. I had actually had it done and rendered out and ready to upload completely just set and ready to go for today and I decided to redo it because I want to kind of keep this more short and to the point because the other one was actually almost 13 minutes long and it was like cheers man that's just take forever so basically I'm just going to go over some of the stuff they put in the game and my opinion on it and uh, hopefully it might change some of your guys' minds to actually try the game out because it is a lot different than Gears 3 and Gears 2 and Gears 1 so if you guys didn't like those for certain reasons in the game then you might like this one actually and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the movement they slowed it down like I said uh, the sprinting isn't quite as fast it's faster than gears 1 and 2 but slightly slower than gears 3 which is just it's just right I think and the diving has been slowed down so you dive and then you almost come to a complete stop because I mean you're not gonna keep going super fast in real life I mean hey you're gonna probably stop as you get back up you're really gonna slow down that's for sure so it really kind of slows it down and so you have a chance to react to people running around super fast like that also on the plus side to that in order to speed it up to counter that and to make sure it wasn't gonna be too slow they got rid of the d-pad this also helps with balancing as well they got rid of the d-pad for switching weapons now all you use is the Y button. You switch between your primary and your secondary, and obviously you can pick up guns on the map like the boom shot and stuff like that. That is awesome. And super fast switch too. It's not like, oh, you gotta hit the D-pad. Oh, let me get the gun. Ah. No, it's super fast and nice and super fluid. So it's really great. I said super a lot. It's super duper 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 super. It's great. I love it. And uh, now, on top of that, since he's only using Y, you only get two weapons. Actually, you get one primary and a pistol. Uh, you can either use a shotgun or a rifle, like the Lancer, the Retro Lancer, whatever. The Shadow Shotgun makes a return as well. There's a new a new rifle. I, can't, I, can't remember, I think it's called the Marksza or something like that. It's like a semi-auto rifle. It's very powerful, actually. Uh, but it's not very fun to use. So, I mean, I don't use it too much. But... Uh, you can either do that or one of the two shotguns and the pistol. That's all you get. You can obviously pick up, swap your pistol for another primary off of someone you killed. Or maybe a map, wet, map weapon or something like that. Map weapon. Spit it out, bro, man. Spit it out. Spit it out, bro. Man. Anyway. And that just really kind of helps for balancing because in Gears 3 and all the other Gears it was like you get have like an arsenal on you practically. And obviously you do start with grenades as well. But you start with one grenade. And on top of that, this is my favorite part. LB throws your grenade really fast. Now you can hold LB and you'll still swing it out so you can aim it a little bit better if you have to make like a really long throw. And you can still tag enemies with them if you hold LB and hit B, the, your melee weapon, to tag somebody with the frag grenade or whatever grenade you have out. There's actually a ton of new grenades as well. There's like a stim grenade which heals you. There's like a, a gas or like a weird gas grenade there's a marking grenade and stuff like that there's tons of different grenades in here that are really great and speaking of grenades they reduce the damage on the frag in all the other gears games the frag grenades were super deadly if you are anywhere near that thing you were freaking dead man no they changed that the blast radius on it is really small now so you actually have to be really really freaking close in order to die from it so that's something i'm really glad about because i was so tired of getting killed by the frags from a mile away man uh and you also can't plant them on walls anymore as far as i know i haven't found a way to do it and I, that's something else i'm kind of glad about because 
but that was kind of like a trolling machine in my opinion on Gears 3. It was just like, you run in and all of a sudden, beep beep beep, boosh! And you're just like, face palming and stuff like that, and you're just, I can't believe I just did that, you just lost the game for your teammate and all that stuff. But anyway, it, it, it's really, it really balanced out and it's really great. Uh, also, they have a bunch of new game types. As you can see right now, I'm playing Free For All, and it's actually really, really good, guys. It really is. I love it. Arr, I love this game. Anyway, um, it, it's really good because the maps are very big, and on top of that, they open up ledges. You can actually jump off ledges and jump over cover and down a ledge if you want to. You, you, if the farther the ledge, obviously, your character will get hurt, but it works really well. It really opens up the map, and, and you're not as constrained anymore, basically. It makes gigantic maps seem a lot smaller, but really, they're bigger. Like, this map I'm on right now is actually huge when you look at it, when you really think about it. But since you can jump off the ledges and stuff like that, and you don't always have to go out and around certain routes, it's really not that big. You get around really fast, it's real nice, and there's actually like three levels to this place. There's like the, the, the main bottom floor, and then there's the, the top floor, and then there's actually a top top floor, like a third floor above it, I, where the one shot spawns actually. I just don't know how to get to it yet. Uh, but the game types are great, they have this, free for all, uh, domination, which is essentially Call of Duty domination, and it also works really, really well. It's one of my favorite game types for sure. And a new game type called Overrun, which is basically what I thought was Beast Mode in Gears 3. You got a team playing as the Cog and a team playing as Locust. The Locusts have to destroy something that uh, on the map that's like the Cog, and then or that's part of the Cog or whatever that they and they have to defend it essentially. It's kind of like if uh, Gears of War Horde mode and Beast Mode and Rush from Battlefield all had a three-way and created this mutant, amazing, beautiful mutant baby then you'd have overrun mode. And it's actually really cool. I haven't gotten to play it too much. I played it for a little bit, but it's a really, really, really cool idea. And also horde mode has been shortened to 10 rounds. And now don't let that discourage you making you think it's easy. It, it's actually not easy. I played it on casual and still died four times. On casual, that's the easiest difficulty. You die a lot easier on it because it's actually class based. You have a healer, you have an engineer who can uh, repair things, you have a, uh, a soldier who will give you guys ammo, and then you have a sniper who can like tag enemies and throw a sensor grenade and stuff like that and climb up on top of you know higher objects and stuff like that and use a rifle. So it's a lot different in that aspect as well. Back to the multiplayer though, I'm kind of getting off track here. They also lowered damage on almost all of the guns, like all the primaries. So instead of, you actually have a time to react. They're like the, the Nashers, there's actually you have to be at closer range for one shot and uh, it takes a lot uh, more shots to kill somebody from a farther range. The sawed off is not nearly as powerful and does not ne have nearly as much of a spread as it did in Gears 3. And the plus, the size, with the size of the maps, it really, you don't, you don't have that like super close quarters feel that you do like in Gears 3 when it's super easy to get up close to someone. It's really not. Uh, it's actually a lot harder. So, uh, But that's pretty much it guys. I love this game and I hope some of you are maybe contemplating on getting it. If you're unsure, just go rent it. You got nothing to lose guys. It's really, really good. The multiplayer is really clean. The one downside though is that they got rid of down but not outs. I, I see this as a downside. A lot of people do uh, like or don't like, didn't, bleh, let me spit this out, okay guys, <laughs> didn't like the down but not outs, uh, because they didn't like having their kills stolen sometimes and stuff like that, but I loved executions, man, uh, but they really kind of, they got rid of that, just to kind of make it more balanced, you get your kill, and actually if someone steals your kill, you get points, and it says stolen kill, it's actually quite nice, um, and they also took out, this one's actually a plus for me, I totally forgot about this, they took out active reloads, thank you, People would abuse that like crazy. They'd spawn in, shoot a bunch of shots, and then active reload, so they'd get to jump on everybody. It was just obnoxious in my opinion. And stopping power on the, the Lancer when you hit the active reload and you couldn't run anywhere, super annoying. So they got rid of it. Now it's just kind of like a quick reload if you hit that bar. Otherwise, you just let it go or you jam. So, I mean, it's really nice in my opinion. So check it out, guys. I hope you enjoy it. hope you enjoyed this video and this gameplay. Let me know in the comments down below what you are thinking about Gears of War Judgment. Do you, do you have it? Do you really like it? Do you hate it? Are you thinking about getting it? Or do you not want to get it? Why do you not want to get it? Why do you want to get it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Uh, if you haven't seen my videos before, please, I encourage you to go check them out on my channel. They are not all Gears of War. There's some Call of Duty. There's just, just a little bit of everything for everybody. Uh, that's kind of what I'm trying to aim for with my channel. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoy those videos on my channel, you new people out there, please, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button. We are on our way to 800. That is our next goal we are aiming for. I'm talking real fast, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>